this astrolic vlog, I will be talking about Dyson Spheres. Uh, Dyson Spheres are hypothetical megastructures purposely built around stars to absorb most or all of the stellar electromagnetic output. The idea comes from science fiction, uh, but it, was, it has been formalized by um, the physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson in the 60s as a thought experiment uh, uh, with the energy needs of an advanced civilization in mind. Fifty years later, uh, we're not much closer to build um, a full Dyson sphere, but we understand better how it should be built uh, and what are the consequences of embarking in this endeavor. A solid Dyson sphere won't work for several reasons. The first reason is physical. A shell around a star would not interact gravitationally uh, with it, and it would lead eventually to the collision with the stars, uh, or the planets around it, uh, or asteroids. Uh, the second is structural. The external strain of building sudden, something so big, uh, there's no material that we know of, uh, nothing even comes close to a substance, uh, uh, an alloy, um, any type of material that can withstand those uh, uh, strain and stresses. Uh, thirdly, most importantly, there's not enough material in the solar system to build such a structure. A proposed alternative uh, to a solid Dyson sphere is uh, this called Dyson Swarm. So it's a series of satellites which are hovering uh, over uh, the sun or a generic star uh, and they absorb a large amount of the, uh, the star output or the solar output. Uh, those are feasible, uh, although we, as I discussed in a previous blog post, uh, we still don't have uh, the capability to have satellite just hovering but we could start small and have satellites in the Lagrangian points uh, uh, absorbing uh, um, a lot of energy from the sun and transmitting that to Earth uh, using microwaves. One of the interesting uh, consequences of uh, uh, Dyson Sphere's uh, ideas and technology is uh, let's assume that uh, a civilization out there is actually building it. Uh, what they would need to do is to embark in a large-scale operation in uh, mining um, their own solar system. And we could see that. Our telescopes are capable of uh, seeing the fragments, the dust uh, produced by that kind of operation. Another question is, would any civilization do that? Would any civilization build a Dyson Sphere or a huge Dyson Swarm? Just as a comparison, let's think about us. In the last 100 years, uh, the amount of energy consumption has grown exponentially. But if we look at the last few decades, the Energy consumption in the developed world is being more or less the same, while the developing world is catching up with us. So yes, our energy is going to increase for a while, but I think it will eventually reach a plateau. Now, what is the yearly energy output of the sun? Well, comparing it to the Earth energy consumption, the early output from the Sun is 33 trillion times more than all the energy humanity has consumed in 1998. So I think that Dyson Sphere are fascinating and should definitely be taught both in science and science fiction, but I think that uh, we would never really need that amount of energy, but I could be wrong.